world, to bring the world new, amazing information. to affect more change together on the planet. Mm -hmm. So this might be the place that we really need to bring it to, is ourselves. So you all have an intelligence within your body that created you in the first place. It's that intelligence that is creating you, it's growing your hair and it's spiraling your blood and it is, it's life itself. That intelligence knows intelligent water. It just may have gotten a little disconnected from it. So we're going to bring awareness back to that. In there. Ooh, that's a lot of energy. <sighs> and rest. Just notice how that feels. So you're now going to just rub your hands together. And then just take them apart for a moment and just feel anything between your hands. So do you feel anything between your hands? So yes, no, maybe, yes. How would you describe that? Heat. Heat? Vib vibration, warmth, maybe like magnet. Yeah. Energy. Energy. If you move your hands away, you notice how it like isn't there anymore. So we have this, we can all feel this. Anyone can feel this. So we're going to just circle our shoulders and we're going to imagine. You're going to imagine water. So can you imagine? So water flows, it sloshes, and your muscles are mostly water. So this isn't a far-fetched concept, it's true. So as you're circling, you're also gonna give a little squeeze. So can you really be inside your shoulder? So can you imagine, I don't know, maybe a waterfall or a lake? your arm a little, a little shake. And now just notice, do I feel any difference between my two sides? That was easy and fast, wasn't it? So now even more cool, move this arm around that you just imagined and notice how easy does it feel to create something in my life, or we're here together, let's just get to the point, to change the world, to bring the world new, amazing information. Like, how easy does that feel? How flowing, how fun. So now compare it to the other side and imagine the same thing. So what do those hmms mean? <laughs> Stiff, hard, like how easy is it gonna be for us to change the world in this reality? A lot more challenging, right? 
So my question would be, how do we most quickly and efficiently bring ourselves into the feeling we want to feel? To feel the ease and the flow, not just as a concept, but really in our body. But you do have a second shoulder, and right now I'm going to leave you in your two realities, and you can choose. So I hope that you will gift your second shoulder, and thank you so much. He was carrying out an experiment, and this experiment is uh, using some hydrophilic material and putting water next to it, just as I, I've shown you. The light is what's responsible, the photons are responsible for providing the energy to grow this uh, exclusion zone. Inside the cell, you've got large uh, macromolecules, mostly proteins, and these proteins have hydrophilic surfaces. And there are exclusion zones. You have easy water, which has uh, negative charge. And the positive charges would be lying uh, just outside beyond those negative uh, charges. The cell is really crowded um, with, with macromolecules, with proteins mostly. And this negative easy practically uh, fills uh, the cell, constitutes potential energy. For example, if this were a muscle cell, um, the, the proteins would be in one configuration and they move to another configuration and that's what is responsible for your muscle cells contracting and the light is absorbed by the water and that light absorption builds easy and creates energy. Are, are we solar powered? Um, I, like, I think we are uh, like many other uh, living species. traveling through the cytoskeletal fibers to provide electricity to the internal of the cell. Um, so here's a schematic of a simple cell. And this cell, you can see these plus signs uh, throughout going along these cytoskeleton pathways. And those are protons. And they're coming in from the outside. But who's making those protons be available? That's the structured water. And Jerry talked about Hi, the structured water. Hi, how are you? <laughs> this is Emre. Oh, this is a video I was posing. This is a video. Sure. Your light shines. It all takes one light to turn darkness into light. So make sure you keep your light shining. The moment where we like to play. Yeah, we just did. Have an awesome, awesome day wherever you are. So, that's so funny. He's like, I've seen your videos. Yes, I have. Do you have any messages for the world? Because you're now in it. To the who? The world. The world. You should believe in water because water is life. Yes, it is. Yes, and when you're in the fetus, as a fetus rather, about 94% water, that's what you're composed of. And when you're very old and dry and crimpled, probably 50%. So if you're old, it's 50%, make sure it's pure. Yeah, and let's change that vision. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you for coming and watching. a vast archive of evolved and adaptable solutions. You see, it isn't just desert plants that turn water into gel. Oh, it can actually rejoin later on. The splitting is what we think of as the myofascial release. This amazing lattice here in this computer depiction, how it is all enmeshed and entwined in a fractal chaos See how the fascia is in constant motion, responding to our every movement, allowing every flexibility of the tissues, movement of muscles, movement of the body. I also have a sense of currents and something that's being carried through our bodies. together and come together in an experience and I just want to have all these people in a room together and really connect the dots.
She's the best. She mm -hmm. is the best. Listen to her. Thanks. Aw, say hi to the world. <laughs> this is JP. Who is my friend. Yay! From ever. Forevers. <laughs> of it like the connections like how the things come together and how to actually bring it into your body to make it real rather than just information so so much so much I have to share with you and uh, yeah to be continued so I'm now walking down this lovely street to go meet Jess and Rachel at Jess's house thanks for coming along with me Cute. Cuties. Move your spine just very, very gently, but can you imagine almost like you're a long piece of seaweed? You can like wiggle your. your oh my gosh, wiggle. Jess is like high on baby bill. Jess is I like am. got those pheromones everywhere. I mean, I yeah, do. she is really cute. Oh, Jess's sister, um, so Ariel gave birth more. to Adina. So we already looked at like one yeah, photo, really but funny. they just did a little photo shoot. Aww. Look how happy and snuggly she's she really looks cute. on the sheepskin. So really cute. Look how, she's such a peanut. She's such a she's peanut. She's really cute. We gotta go see her. I wanna oh, see, I meet her. Yeah, anyway, we've just been looking at pictures for like Wait, this now. one. It's just like, oh. <laughs> Happy Jess family. Jess like got the best of it all because she's like auntie who can go over and then go home and go to sleep. It's blurry, but like, it's oh, really look at her cute. little cutie smile. Happy fam. Your little voice. I know. <laughs> I try to not do it's it with her because I want to talk to her like regular. <laughs> but it's so hard. <laughs> Hi, Adina. I'm excited to meet Did you. Did I ever show you my first selfie with Adina? been like this for a while <laughs> <laughs> and here are her first birthdays and here's her little selfie. blanket you did show me that it's really cute she's gorgeous it's really chunky i love being in <laughs> <laughs> aunt life rolls yeah 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 <laughs> material isn't real and what is real is how I feel and how I can choose to feel and go into myself and know that I am supported and abundant here first always and it was just a very big moment and I wanted to share it with you guys because it definitely felt bumpy at first but then I used the support of <laughs> these wonderful people and just was reminded to go in and for whatever reason trust in the perfection of it and if you want to 
send a little light beam this way that it gets returned cool but I also feel the let it go too so the infinite webs so we'll see you on the web see you on the interweb see you on the vlog good night everybody see you tomorrow for another epic day in the life Laura is sleepy. Yeah, there she is. I just gave her what I will call an epic foot massage. Oh my gosh, it was so good. <laughs> and then, and then she fell asleep. Dragged her on the floor. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> and now it's time for bed. So good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Epic day. Yay. Really cool day. Mm -hmm.